point where I can actually do it. All right, check. Bam. There you go, pause, listen long enough for me to actually get through this, and we'll be done. Okay. No? Fine. You. Perfect. See you then. They're cool. Let's just see. What are they? I don't know, but I'm wearing one. Here's my first question. How many people are... Oh, just the one. Kind. All by yourself, huh? Great. Less work for me. Why don't you type in your name? See an icon you like? Pick it. Okay, your buzzer's gonna be the letter B. Where are you going? Let's go. Let's go. Woohoo! All right, welcome to Head Rush. I'm Bob, and you are pathetic, playing by yourself. All right, whatever. So, well, it sounds like you got a lot of people with you. In, you know the answer, so you buzz in and you choose either one, two, three, or four. Then you either win a bunch of cash if you get it right, or you lose, and I take away all your money and I humiliate you. Got it? Okay, uh, did everyone make yep. it? Great, let's go. Cash for it, please. Uh, this one is, these are the people who invented French kissing? 10,000 bucks riding on this one. And we're out. <laughs> Given how noblemen were executed during the French Revolution, which trendy gift would be least appropriate on the day of their execution? Kangal caps, Freezy Freaky's gloves, That would be caps. Because during they the kind of lost their heads. Most noblemen were taken to the guillotine to have their heads chopped off. So getting a Kangal cap would be kind of, uh, ironic, don't you think? Sure. You should wear your cap backwards. No, forwards. I say backwards. And I say forward. Oh, well, that's unique. Okay, I need a category. The category? Superman's got a new hobby. Get it right, I'm handing over 20k. Okay, now imagine Superman gets tired of the whole hero thing and takes up a quieter pursuit, like, um, classical music. If Superman becomes the superconductor of an orchestra, which of these nasty accidents might he be responsible for? Dropping a ton of metal on the pianist, electrocuting the brass section, smothering the vocalist in duct tape, or killing the drum section with a speeding train? That'd be electrocution. A superconductor is a substance that can carry electricity without any electrical resistance. <laughs> well, that is uh, a right, you pick one. All right, dude, you just picked a dis or dad. All right. And this dis or dad questions category is he who wears the best shoes rules the universe. Okay, I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's the brand name of a shoe, an ancient god, or both. If it's the name of a shoe, press Yikes. one. If it's the name of a god, press two. Press three if it's both. And if you want to skip one, press four. You get 5,000 for each right answer, and 5,000 will be taken away if you get it wrong or don't get to it. Alrighty, bring out the monkey. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Adidas, shoe, god, or both? Both. Adonis. Oh. God. Nike. Both. Reba. Shoe. Vila. Shoe. Triton. God. One more. Tree torn. God. That's oh. all she wrote. You picked up five. Not memorable, but not terrible. Yeah, it's about right, average. Moving on. Okay, pick a category. Oof. For your enjoyment, Yankee Doodle ate it up. Looks like this one's going for 10,000 bucks. Flex those fingers, because here it comes. Based on what he refers to as macaroni, what would you expect to see Yankee Doodle eating? Crap uh, feathers. 
Yankee Doodle stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. Mmm, <laughs> I love macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> I need a category. <laughs> this bad boy is... You're gabbing me a headache. And you pocket 20,000 clams if you get this one. Hey, uh, you know that lead singer from Bush, that Gavin guy, you know? Right. Yeah. Which of these phrases can be made with the letters in Gavin Rossdale? Oh, and uh, let's make things a little more interesting here. Is it Gibbs anal rods, go veg loser, gland so avid, or alien goes solo? The letters in Gavin's name can be rearranged to spell Gibbs anal rods. All right, we'll take it. Wow, is that for me? Gee, thanks, Gavin. Just what I always... Whoa! Whoa. Category, please. <laughs> and here we have Toothpaste is for Wimps. And it's worth 20,000 bucks if you get this one right. Think fast. Oh no, you haven't been brushing your teeth and now you need dentures. If you have to pay for your dentures by becoming an indentured servant, what will you have to do? Give up chewing gum. You have to work for the dentist for seven years. In colonial times, indentured servants had to work as slaves for a fixed period of time in exchange for their passage to America. Okay now, boy, get in there and clean that spit sink. Oh. With your tongue. Okay, okay. Okay, I need a category. <laughs> Looks like this category is Brad Pitt, Boy Wonder. How does $20,000 sound? Hey, you remember that movie Seven with Brad Pitt and that old guy from uh, Driving Miss Daisy? Well, if instead of the seven deadly sins, seven is about the seven wonders of the ancient world, which scene will be in the movie? A dead guy floating in the Taj Mahal's pool, a dead guy impaled by the Great Pyramids, a dead guy hanging from the Eiffel Tower, or a dead guy buried under the Vatican? It, I think it's the Great Pyramids. The Great Pyramids are one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and they're the only great wonder still around today. <laughs> Unless, of course, you count Brad Pitt's career. Now well, it's about as ancient as uh, Paul Rudd. Hey, move over, host boy. I gotta ask these kitties a question. Here we go. These guys get to chill up, get back, chill up, do. Old man's morning memories. Get chill up, get back, chill up, do. Hey! Let's see what we got here. Dirty old man. 20,000 bucks for a correct answer. I tell you, this country's going to hell in a hand thingy. It's getting so you can't even trust the good old president of the U.S. of A. anymore. You know, like that big to-do that happened a while ago. You know the one. Oh, what was it called? Oh, I can't remember. You know, hey, if you type in the answer, I'll give you some money. Let's see now. Oh, it was a big presidential scandal, like back in the 1970 years. You see, some fellers broke into this hotel. Let's see what you think. Yeah, I think it's Watergate. That Watergate hotel was where the President Nixon had those fellas steal the secrets from the Democrats. You know, he shouldn't have ought to done that. <laughs> You know, nowadays it seems like everyone's got their own kind of gate scandal. You got your Iran gate, and your Whitewater gate, and your Nanny gate, and your Stop Swinging on My Gate. And... Wait. Oh my god. Alrighty. <laughs> Pucker up for a carrot a day keeps Elmer away. 10,000 beanies if you get this one. All right, you know how Bugs Bunny's always kicking Elmer Fudd's butt? Well, check this. Because of the nutrients in Bugs Bunny's carrot diet, which of these special advantages will Bugs have over Elmer Fudd? He can stamp out Elmer with his huge feet. He can see Elmer hunt at night. He can spit all over Elmer's camp, or he can digest Elmer's metal gun. He can see Elmer hunt at night. Carrots have a lot of vitamin A, which is really good for your night vision. 
So remember, eat your carrots because they'll help you uh, escape from short, lisping bald men with guns or something. I need a category. Alright, give it up for this question's got balls. And we got 30,000 bucks in the pot. Okay, sports fans, listen up. A 48-minute NBA basketball game is made up of four 12-minute quarters. A 60-minute NFL football game is made up of four 15-minute quarters, while a 60-minute NHL hockey game is made up of three 20-minute periods. And finally, a 90-minute Major League Soccer game is made up of two 45-minute halves. You got it? I hope so. Now, considering official time only. Which of these lasts the longest? One MLS half, two NHL periods, three NFL quarters, or four 45, NBA quarters? 40, 48. Four quarters of NBA basketball is 48 minutes long, which makes it the longest. And Lord help you if you're an LA Clippers fan. Those games feel more like 48 hours. Okay, I need a category. <laughs> All right. Time for the head rush. Keep your eyes glued to the screen, because when you see two words that match, you better buzz in. If you're right, you got 5,000 bucks coming your way. But if you're wrong, you owe me 5,000. Oh, don't forget. Remember the clue. Your match better fit this clue. A little number that rocks. Well, let's see if you can rock on this head rush. Good luck. All right. Uh, that'd be two. One. Ten thousand. Seven twenty five fifty twos. Here we go. So a job. So a job. So a job. Good effort. Good effort. Nice hustle. Let's check out your final score. That's the game. Hey, way to go, Green. You know, it's like I always say. It doesn't matter whether you win or lose, as long as you get to play with yourself. Now, uh, get away from the computer and go make some friends, will you? Bye bye. <laughs> That's a wrap. Another day, another peso. Diva Bambina, tell me, is it going to hey, be a Bruno Moss game? No. Whoa, you're on the high scoreboard. Here's your prize. Those three claps. Don't spend them all in one place. And tell me I'm about trying not to. The Mighty Medical Procedures Network. The long and bloody road. One man's heroic battle with tonsillitis. Next week, don't miss day. All right, this concludes this episode of You Don't Know Jack Head Rush. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment in the section below, and spread the word. This is Dick and Swayze Gaming, and the arcade is now closed. Okay, I think we got time for one more game.